house to show you how even though we're stuck at home, we can still make music together. Today what we're going to do is we're going to log on to your own Quaver's Marvelous World of Music account. That's right friends, just because we're not in our classroom in our own Marvelous World of Music doesn't mean that you can't keep creating and performing and responding and connecting at home. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to log in and access all of the fun activities that your music teacher is going to post for you. To log into your Quaver account, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need the first letter of your first name, the first letter of your last name, and your Clever code. We use our Clever codes to log into all kinds of things at school, so you should know what this is and we're going to add those letters to make your login information. You might be watching this video, but you're not in my music class. That's okay, because all of our music teachers, Ms. Spriggs and I, are working together to make sure that you have fun activities to keep making music at home. Let's get our computer and let's get started. All right, so I've opened up my computer and gone to our internet browsing here, friends. I am using Google Chrome because it seems like it works a little bit better with Quaver's Marvelous World of Music. If you use Safari and it seems like it's taking a really long time to load or you're having issues, try Google Chrome. It seems like it works a little bit better. You're going to go up here to our address bar and you're going to type in our address, which is www.quaver, Q-U-A-V-E-R, music, M-U-S-I-C.com. And you're going to hit enter. And that will take you to the Quaver Music Home page. This is also on your Clever page. If you log into that and scroll down, you can access it that way as well. If you come over here and click on the Login button, it's going to take you to the Login page. Or when you start back on your home page in your browser, you can type in www.quavermusic.com and go ahead and type slash login, and it will take you directly to this page right here. Now, like I said earlier, to log into your account, you're going to need three things. You're going to need the first initial of your first name, the first initial of your last name, and your clever code. So I'm going to get rid of my login information here. My computer remembers it for me. So your login will look just like this. For your Quaver name, you're going to type the first initial of your first name. For my name, that's a K. Then you're going to take the first initial of your last name. That's Radcliffe for me, so I'm going to put R. And then you're going to type your clever code. So my clever code is going to be... And then when you come down here to your password, you're going to type in the exact same name. First initial of your first name, first initial of your last name, and your clever code. Then you're going to go ahead and click enter. You might need eventually to put in your class code down here. And if you do need that, just send Ms. Radcliffe a message and I'll make sure that gets to you. Everything should be set up for you, so it shouldn't be a problem. But if you do need it, we can help you from there. Once you've got your Quaver name and your password typed in, you're going to hit enter. And it's going to take you to this awesome screen right here. It says student dashboard. Welcome, Carrie Radcliffe. That's my name. And then over here, you can change your avatar. You can see this is where all your assignments are going to be. So when you click on that, it shows up. We're going to talk about this screen in just a minute. Here's our student interactives page, which we have used lots of these different games in my classroom. And in Ms. Briggs's classroom, they've got things for recorder. They've got things for some music theory that we've been practicing. Sometimes it takes a while for it to pop up. Just wait. We've got things for instruments and different instrument families. My fifth graders have been working on some of these music creation things for their composition project. They've got movement activities. They've got instruments. They've got books to read. It's all kinds of different things. So we've used several of those in class, and you'll probably recognize some of those. Here's the creatives tab, which has another things, things where you can make your own grooves, your own drum set groove, your own... <clears throat> groove to go along to our composition project or, or things like that. You can explore in there. And then here are some Quaver books all about different styles, different composers, different things to read while you're at home. 
Now, when you sign in, it might take you to this page where it says student dashboard, or depending on your computer settings, it might take you to a page that looks kind of like this. If you log in and it looks like this, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here to the bottom where it says click to access Quaver Music without Adobe Flash. It's going to make it a little bit easier because this screen is really busy. It makes all kinds of noise and it's kind of hard to find what you need. So scroll on down here to the bottom. If it pops up like this, click here and it'll take you to this page, which is a lot easier for us to access. Now, Ms. Briggs and I are going to be posting your assignments right here on this little window that says assignment. So we'll click on that. And here's an example that I have posted for you for this video. Over here it says string family introduction. So let's click on this lesson here where it says string family introduction and I'm going to show you how you are going to walk through these lessons together. So if you click on here, It'll pop up and it will say assignments. It will say the date that Ms. Radcliffe or Ms. Briggs sent it to you. It'll say the time that it's due. Some of these are going to have some quizzes and some games in them that you are going to send back to us so that we can make sure you did your work and that it helped you learn. Once you're ready, you come on down here and click on launch and a new screen will open up with your lesson. This looks just like the welcome page that I usually have up for you when you enter the classroom. Down here it says instructions, which is going to be a very, very important thing. If you're stuck, you need to come on down here and click and read these directions. I'm going to walk you through everything you need. If you're having trouble with that, ask mom or dad for help. Ask them to read those instructions to you. Once you're done with this page, there's not a lot to do here other than look at how cool it is. You can click next and we'll get into our lesson. So once you start your lesson, takes a little bit for it to pop up sometimes. Just give it time to load. Now it's ready. You can come over here and click instructions and it'll tell you exactly what to do just like we were in class together. Today we are learning about instruments and their families. When all the instrument families play together in a big group they are called the orchestra. Listen to the song and find each instrument family. So click on here. And you'll listen all the way through that and listen for those instrument families, just like the instructions said. When you're done with that page, you click next. Come on over here, read the instructions, click through and read whatever you're supposed to read through. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip, but you can see down here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 things for you to look at and for you to do. Some of these, sometimes this one, like this one is a game that you can play. So that says clarinet and it's asking me what family that goes in. So I'm going to click and put that in there. And then it'll show me another one. Now, some of those might be quizzes. Some of them might be interactive games. Some of them might be dances or things that you're going to do that you're going to send back to us. I'm going to go ahead and skip on down to the last one, just like we would do in class. We talk through what we learned today and then you're done. You can click exit and it'll close back out. And if there's something assigned in that lesson, you can submit it back to us and it'll show you how to do that in the lesson. So that's how we're going to do our assignments on here, friends. Now that you know how to log in, what you can do this week is you can come to this page right here, Student Interactives, and play through and explore on any of the things on that page in there. Starting on Monday of next week, Ms. Spriggs and I will have an assignment for you on that assignments page. So you can play with any of these things for the rest of this week, kind of explore and get used to how this works. And then next week, we'll be looking for our assignments right here. And that's how we do it, friends. You can use the rest of this week to go on to the Student Interactives page and explore all the fun things that there are on Quaver's marvelous world of music. Your music teacher will be posting activities for you to do starting next week. Stay tuned and go explore Quaver's marvelous world of music. We want to see you, so we might be asking you to post a video of you singing our song or performing or a dance move that you made, so make sure you're watching for instructions like that. We'll see you next week.